actor like Penelope and James who took that leap of faith, there was at least one who didn't. And without getting specific, can you, what, what are some things that you remember of people who either didn't get it or felt uncomfortable about taking this kind of a film on, some actors that you might have met with? What, what, did, what did they say that made you think, oh? Uh, the, the actors, you mean? Yeah, or the people, who, people who just thought that you were nuts. Oh. Uh, no, the actors actually, uh, I don't know. I mean, the, the one who said no, I didn't meet them, so uh, I don't know who they are. But the, the, the people who thought, I mean, there's two kind of people there. People you want to work with, and you're going to pay them, and people that you want to finance your movie, and they're going to give you their money. And the reactions are totally different. And the people who thought I was uh, crazy was the third category. Yeah. The one we, we asked money. And, um, because they thought nobody <coughs> would care uh, about with a silent movie. And uh, they didn't believe. And I can understand because, as you say, if you if you don't have the, the, the movie in mind, it's very difficult to, to imagine that it can be, uh, that you, you can enjoy the, the, the movie. And even the audience, I mean, I don't know for you, but I know a lot of people who come to the theater, but they think it can be boring. It might be boring. And, uh, and they're very happy to see that it's easy to watch and, it's, uh, and there's a story and everything, but that you can be a little, you can, be a little bit uh, uh, scared at the beginning. So. Because the kind of performance that you're all giving is so different from what you're usually asked to do in film, what was the preparation, if any, that you all did as a cast together um, just to be on the same page and to be you know, in sync before filming started? Uh, we, we, we didn't work together before being on set. And, um, to me, I mean, I think um, we, we have, I mean, I didn't work differently on this movie uh, as in the other movies. And I think the difference is because you, you can hear our voices, any noises, anything. You suddenly, every expression of our faces, everything that is on the frame, uh, take a bigger place. And you feel we're doing more than usual, but just, that's my feeling when I watch a, a silent movie. I just, you know, I focus so much on every expression, every little thing that I can see because there's nothing to para parasite. Uh, um, and but I didn't feel like I was overacting or doing anything special. Um, I mean, compared to a, a talking movie, for me, if you could hear my voice, Bebe would be exactly the same. She would wink the same, move the same. The the only thing is that. You, it is that you could hear my voice, but but for me the approach was the same. Except you know maybe in some scenes you were overacting, like maybe in the interview scene for me, and um, things like that. But I don't know. what, what do you think, James? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same acting, but it's, it's interesting because there's a scene when uh, when Jean wakes up and uh, and Pepe goes in and embraces him, and the nurse does a wonderful sort of look away and then back, which is perfect to throw you back. And Bernice, he he starts to collapse again. She starts to let him go. She looks to the nurse like, "Is it okay?" And bites her lip. He got a laugh. Now, that's incredible, because you have a whole frame, you haven't seen a thing. Just the one gesture gets a, not only does it tell the story, but it gets a laugh. So, only thing Michelle said to me, because of 22 frames rather than 24, might have to extend the gesture a little so as not to lose it, uh, because it goes past, uh, you know, if you do a, a regular take, uh, it's gone. So you have to extend it. I was never aware of doing that. Uh, uh, there were sometimes I wish I'd slowed down a little more, uh, uh, but uh, you know, for us uh, who were just playing characters in the movie, it's just a, it's just a regular movie, a dialogue. It's a regular scene. You hear yourself. You're not 
judging your performance on the, where what the sound is, though. You're trying to remember that you're doing the story, telling the story with your gesture and your, you know, and your facial expressions, and um, leave it up to the director to tell you whether you're over the top or not. It's fascinating because. It